Hi, I'm Chef Jorge de la Torre from Johnson & Wales University. Today we're going to make an arugula chimichurri to use for any types of meats, or actually you can use them over pastas if you uh, were a vegetarian. Chimichurri is an Argentine sauce that is very typical uh, condiment for their meats, for pork. I love the little peppery flavor of arugula, and I thought this would be a great um, mix to add to your um, sauce repertoire. So what we do is we're going to start with a lot of garlic. This is a lot of garlic in here. Again, garlic to your flavor. I like to just kind of mash them down a little. I also like to add a little salt. So salt gives it, gives it a little texture like that. And it helps mash it. Keep it together. All right, the next thing I like to do is get some chopped parsley. So this is Italian parsley that we have taken off the stem. So I'm bringing these together, chopping. It's not going to be a fine mince. Again, it's going to be... Usually in a, in a typical chimichurri, this is all you're going to have to do is a lot, of ton, a lot of parsley. More parsley than you ever think. But now we're going to add a little arugula. This is a ready-to-eat food. It's not going to go through any cooking process afterwards. So I made sure, obviously, that my Hands were well washed, well cleaned. Uh, most restaurants and at the university, anything that is ready to eat, which is what this would be considered, would, you'd be wearing gloves. I know you're not going to put on a pair of gloves at your house, but if you were going to be cooking for a large crowd, if, uh, you know, it's always good to do that. But right now, we know our hands are clean. I know you're going to wash your hands. You care about your family. I care about my job and the well-being of people. When people come to your house, they're your guests. They are in your, they're in your trust and they're your responsibility. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little salt, add a little black pepper and some vinegar, red wine vinegar. You can use sherry vinegar if you'd like, but you don't want to use cider vinegar or white vinegar. You need to have a, Nice flavor. You can use any red wine vinegar. Red wine is the typical vinegar. So we'll add that in. Really, we're not making an emulsion. Sometimes they say, you know, drizzle a little and then until it comes together. Again, this is a very hearty dish. This is not like that at all. Thank you. And we're going to use those pizza flakes just a little. If you don't like any, don't use it but they just add a, a, a tiny bit. Not to make it a spicy sauce, it's not a, what we'd consider a salsa. It's just supposed to be, add a little nice flavor. And then you would let this, since it's nice and rough chopped, hand cut, you would let it sit for a little bit so you get a nice flavor, let the flavors meld. We'll give it a nice shot right now. Oh, that's great. You're checking for salt and pepper uh, to see if there's the right balance of acidity and oil. You get the nice herbal uh, flavors from parsley and arugula, and that's going to help you when you toss it over something as rich as um, salmon or flank steak or pork. It allows to clean your palate so that you want that next bite. So that's why we add citrus to a lot of the flavors, like when you add lemon to lobster or to fish. They're high in fat, but that lemon zest cleans your palate, allows you to Enjoy the next bite. So Calvin here roasted a great, nice piece of salmon. Just salt and pepper, that's all we need. You could do this on the grill, or you could do it in the oven, however you want. And then we'll just, you know, you don't want to drizzle it on top. He did, he took such a nice time to make sure that it was peppered nicely, that it was browned nicely. He doesn't need me to mess it up by just putting the sauce on top of it. And then you could bottle this up for a little bit and it'll last about a week in your refrigerator and that way you'll have it. You'll see, you'll become addicted to this sauce. You can find all our recipes on our website. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre of Johnson Wales University. Let's dig in.